my number nine, my number nine. match week in the Premier League. It's actually another really nice day in Manchester. Who'd have thought it? City versus Palace. Palace becoming a bit of a bogey team for City. They beat them last season and in fact there's some crazy start of like the past 54 Premier League games that you've played on a Saturday at 3pm. They've lost twice and those two were against Crystal Palace. But there is no Zaha today crucially. Their best playoff. I'm surprised some of the players starting today are starting. The likes of Carl Walker for example. I appreciate there are injury issues but a lot of, the play a lot of these players did play midweek against Barcelona in a charity match friendly. I'm surprised Foden's also kept his place after his, I'd say, two crucial errors against, or certainly a crucial one against Newcastle, but also against Bournemouth, just simply not squaring it to Haaland when he's had a tap-in. But I think this is hopefully going to be his chance to get back some credibility. Um, and maybe that's being a bit too harsh on him. However, against Newcastle, City will 1-0 up. If he squares it, it's 2-0. City probably win the game. So you could say he maybe cost his, cost his team... Um, two points in the match maybe that's being a little bit too harsh but Holland does keep his place that is huge because uh, he is he's a beautiful man and there's also a, a drone in the sky look at that it's uh it's all kicking off here I'm gonna be confident I'm gonna say this is the end of the hoodoo of Crystal Palace and Patrick Vieira and I'm gonna say City will win this match let's be confident they're gonna win it 3-0 once again empty stadium it's not good enough disgusting fan base all plastic Go the boys. I better not break my heart today. Second week in a row, the away side has not sold out their upper allocation, and again, that will affect their score.
nine, my number nine. Come on. City have finally broken the Crystal Palace curse thanks to one Erling Haaland. We did not have a striker last season, we lost this fixture last season. Palace went two goals up, two shots, two set pieces. Actually, no, I think it was actually one shot because the first goal was technically an own goal, I think. I think it came off Walker and then Stones, and then the second goal was a corner, just re really odd defending from the city. I think it was quite, to be fair, I think especially the first goal was quite unfortunate as well. Can't really entirely blame the side, but first half generally, slow going forwards, just trying odd balls. I thought De Bruyne generally didn't have a good game. Very sideways, not really creating anything. But then second half, that all changed. Bernardo Silva, you all, I, you all, I always thought, even when we were 2-0 down, I always thought, look, we all need, <laughs> we've seen against so many sides, even against Newcastle. And, and Villa last season. One goal changes the whole dynamic of the game. Bernardo Silva gets a scuff finish, uh, I think it takes deflection, doesn't matter, gets it into the game, and then Haaland just goal, goal, goal. Oh, but two of them were tappings, yeah? So that's sort of the point of why we signed a number nine. But then the third, the third goal for his hat trick, his, his first hat trick for City, first hat trick in the Premier League, was brilliant. He had so much space. Gundogan, I was screaming, play the ball into him, play the ball into him, and he did. Held, very reminiscent of Yaya Torre, held off the players, popped into the back of the net, and that was the difference today. We did not have a striker last season. Otto didn't help, we're down to 10 men last season, but we did have one today, able to finish off those chances. Palace came here just to defend. Uh, when they could, I, I bet they couldn't believe their luck when they went 2-0 up, because they didn't play very well. They got two low probability goals, and then why wouldn't you camp? Time waste, again, why wouldn't you? But they didn't really offer any, any genuine uh, threat, which again sounds silly because they did score twice. Zaha being absent couldn't have helped that. Eze looked quite dangerous, but uh, overall, City easily deserved to win this match. Ranking the away fans, I thought they were poor. I'm going 4 out of 10. Did not fill up their top allocation, even at 2-0 up. Barely sung, I could barely hear them. You were at the Etihad, you 2-0 up at half-time. I sort of expect a little bit more, especially because Sehos Park is such um, a loud ground. I appreciate it's a long trip, but yeah, not that impressive, four out of 10. And Haaland, I love Haaland so much. He's so good. And it does mean that uh, City do not lose as they did last season. It means that they actually, technically, if, if we're doing it fit. If you haven't already liked the video and subscribed what you're doing, go do it right now. I'll see you next time.